Hi Fusionites, uh, Yanni here. I am going to share my screen and taking, take you through the process of setting up a staking node on your computer. I am using a MacBook Pro, but the steps should be very similar across different devices. Um, one of the really cool thing about networks that are powered by a proof of stake consensus algorithm is that you don't need any special hardware or, or software to actually participate in consensus. Um, most consumer grade laptops or computers will have sufficient computational power to successfully run a node, which is really cool. Alternatively, you can also use a cloud service or something like that. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to run a node locally on your device. So the first step in the process is to download an application called Docker. I'll provide the link in the notes section of this video. Um, I'm actually gonna skip this process in the video, but here's the website. You'll actually have to create an account. As you can see, I've already got an account called Yana T. It takes two minutes to set up. You just have to verify your email address and then download a DMG file. I can show you the file. It's about half a gigabyte. It's over there on my desktop. Um, then you just have to follow the prompts and I'm just going to minimize that. You just follow the prompts, you move it to your application folder, uh, and it should start running. It's really simple. When it's running correctly, you'll see a, a green dot and it says De Docker desktop is running. And you'll probably have to log into the account, the new account you just created at some point for it to be running correctly. Um, I'm not even going to go through this process because it's so straightforward and any person who's ever downloaded anything from the internet has done something like this before. So in order to get started with the node setting up process, uh, the first thing we have to do is create a new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it uh, Yana node. So here we go. Yana node. I'm just going to leave it on my desktop. Um, when you create a folder to make things easy, if you're not a technical person, don't leave any gaps or spaces um, in the name of your folder because it overcomplicates things. So I've called this folder Yana node. Um, and inside that folder, we actually have to put two items. The first item is your key store file um, that's associated with the PSN wallet that you'd like to use for, for staking. So I've actually just created a PSN wallet five minutes before shooting this video. And I have saved the key store file and put it on my desktop and I'm gonna move it into the folder I've called Yana node. The next item that belongs in this folder is actually a, a text file. So you can just search for text edit and open up a file here, but I've already got one open, but this is, uh, this is actually the application we're gonna use. Um, the first step is to click format and make sure that you make this file plain text. So format, make plain text. Then what you wanna do is you wanna type in the password that unlocks your key store file to the wallet address you want to use for staking. So for the UTC key store file, I just put inside the folder called Yana node. The password that unlocks it is actually fusion12345. Sometimes it automatically puts a uppercase. You need to correct that. It should all be lowercase. And I'm actually going to save this file onto my desktop. Here we go. And I'm going to call it, and this is very important, I'm going to call it password. And you need to make sure that the, that the file is named correctly password without any, uppercase, without any uppercase letters. And I'm going to save it. Should show up on my desktop. Here we go. And I just want to confirm that it's a TXT file. I can already see it is, but just to confirm, the name and extension should actually be password.txt. And this has to be exact for, for the setup process to function correctly. So once that's been created, I'm going to put it in this folder called Yana node. And if I open up Yana node, we should see two files. One is the key store file associated with the wallet I want to use for staking. And the other word, the other file is uh, the password file that unlocks that, uh, that key store. So once that folder is set up correctly, the next step is to actually edit a command line template, which fusion is set up for you. So here's the template. And I'm also going to provide this template. Um, in the notes to this video. 
So the first part of the te of the template command line that we're going to edit is this little part here. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the full path, the full pathway to the folder that I've just created called Yona Node. And the way to do this is to click Get Info. And the full path is basically uh, all of the information to write the full path is contained in this little where section. So I'll, I'll demonstrate using this as an example. So the full pathway is going to be forward um, slash users forward slash Yona Takach forward slash desktop forward slash the name of the folder we've just created. So Yona node. And it's important that all of the characters are correct in terms of uppercase, lowercase. So I'm actually going to copy this and put it into this section of the template. So that's the first part of the template that we've edited and made, made our own. I can delete that. The next section of the template that we have to edit is this, uh, this address, this string of characters we have there, which is actually just a, a template public address. Um, and instead, we're going to import the public address that's associated with the wallet that's associated with this key store file and password in the folder that I've just created. So here's the wallet, the public, sorry, the wallet address, the public address um, for the wallet that we're going to use for staking. And I'm going to copy and paste it in over here. So that's my public address. And this kind of tells the system that if you're successful in packing a block and, and validating a block and a bunch of transactions, that this is where they should send the reward to this public address. Um, and the last, the last section of the command line that we're going to edit is here. And, and, and this is basically to give your node a name and I'm going to call this node uh, video test Yana node. Um, let's not put any spaces anywhere um, in between characters in the command line just to make things very straightforward. Um, okay, so once we have successfully edited the command line, we can copy the command, open up terminal. And then it's as simple as executing the command. So I'm just pasting the command into the terminal and I'm going to run it by clicking enter. Let's see if that worked. If, it's, if it works, it should start actually downloading. Yep. Here we go. So you'll know it's working when it starts importing new blocks. All right, so we have actually successfully set up a node here and, and we can actually validate that by going to node.fusionnetwork.io and now my node should actually be showing. Ugh, big picture of me is in the way. That's annoying. I'll move it out the way. Oh God, now there's two of me. Okay. Uh, here we go, video test Yona node, and it's just setting up, see it's green, and now it's all fully green. So that, that's basically telling you that my, that my node is, is successfully running. Um, in, another, in another video, we'll show you actually how to purchase tickets so you can start earning block rewards. But in order to set up a node locally on your computer, just follow the steps that I've taken through you through in this video. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, there'll also be a written document which uh, explains the process that I've taken through, taken you through in this video, but you could also just follow the document. Um, all right. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.